terrorists win.
ladies and gentlemen, we are going live on a knife round here, and it looks like GGPR is going to pull this off. I thought Lowrider was going to go down there right before the end, but GGPR does secure the knife round. Going live versus Revenant Esports here. DE Mirage. So we're bringing the regular season to a close here soon. This is Hamtaro from GGPR checking in with you all. And we are officially live as GGPR has selected Counter Terrorist first half. Looks like GGPR going with a fairly traditional setup here. Lowrider at mid. Looks like some action at A here. Full A rush from Revenant. Let's see if Lowrider can pick off Ajax here, who's moving up really aggressively on window. Spoix is going to take out Lowrider. Ajax backing him up with another headshot onto Vic there. Let's see if George can get a second after that initial USP headshot. He's got Notorious right here on the stairs. I don't know if George knows that he's right here around this corner. He does now because Notorious took out Creed. George gets the trade and another huge headshot from George. A third amazing headshot from George Snorts onto Florgy. And GGPR is going to take pistol round here. DE Mirage starting out strong for the boys. Wow, what a round. If any of the settings go off, go ahead and just let me know in chat here. I was trying to keep an eye on the second monitor, make sure nothing was off here. Another fairly traditional setup here from both teams. Vic getting that initial MP9 pick onto Amen. George choosing to go with an AUG this round. Revenant already out into A site with these rifles. Let's see if Florgy and or Spoiks can use these AKs. Maybe get this jungle and or connector pick. Not, oh, looks like they won't even need to because they've already got the C4 down. Lowrider with a nice scout shot. Don't know if that's going to be quite enough for the retake here. Creed does get one. Creed getting a second, but that's, oh, Creed getting a third. And that's going to be enough to get the defuse. It looked like Revenant had a pretty hardcore defensive stance on the site, but GGPR, led by Creed and the Fomus, they're able to retake. Going into the third round here. And it looks like Revenant somehow still able to get five rifles across the board. Going with two AK-47s and three Galils. Not too much utility, but maybe just enough to take a sight here as Florgy has full utility. Here's Creed peeking cat. Nice pick by Creed, although he is going to get traded by Spoys there. Three v four situation. GGPR is at a one man disadvantage here. A ramp is smoked off. Exotic holding some narrow angles there. Lowrider playing a very safe pass angle from mid window with his crosshair onto catwalk there, seeing just enough get that cross. It looks like Revan is actually going to take it A though. They do have a man there right below window. About to come up underpass. Stairs actually. He's going to get Lowrider jumping right in front of him. Lowrider with an incredible M4 headshot. He could smell a man coming up from underpass. He knew it was just too quiet. Had to be something going on there. Notorious does not realize that Exotic is right next to him, and Exotic is going to line up two for the collateral there. Florgy and Notorious going down. Spoys with the trade onto Exotic. Vic in a 1v1 situation. He's got 100 HP. He does have head armor. Spoys with 33 HP. Vic almost coming around the corner there. He's holding off just a bit because 
I believe he realizes Spoist does not have the C4 yet. He knows he's going to have to go for the plant soon. And Vic with the perfect timing as Spoist was looking down connector slash catwalk slash mid and did not realize that Vic was still posted up on a ramp there. So great timing and patience by Vic there holding off just long enough for the appropriate peak. There's Vic. This is going to be huge at B. There is about to be a showdown at B. George getting the first, George getting the second. Florgy trading onto Vic. Amen taking down Lowrider and a second P250 kill from Amen. Florgy with a nasty 50 caliber 1D into Creed's dome there, unfortunately. Let's see if Exotic can get this 1v3 going here. He does have 100 HP. Ajax at 11. He could at least maybe clean up Ajax and Amen, but ah, this is going to maybe be too difficult with Florgy on this corner. Right here, but not for Exotic. Immediately getting that reaction headshot with the M4. He's moving into sight. Here's Amen about to peek, and he does get the headshot. Really nice play by Amen. Exotic potentially could have cleaned that up and got the defuse if Amen had not peaked there another moment of very proper timing this time on behalf of revenant esports amen with some early round utility here i guess he was expecting lowrider to peak mid early which lowrider oh my lord lowrider i Take back everything I just said or was going to say. He just got an insane one dig through that smoke in middle. I think he heard me or felt that I was about to say maybe he was going to play this round passively, which maybe that was semi passive, but I don't know. That took uh, some, uh, I'll call it mental fortitude to, to peek that through the smoke and land that headshot. Lowrider almost getting a second onto Ajax there. Looks like... Oh! Okay, George with a nice pick onto Spoist. That might be in just enough to keep GGPR in the round. 2v2 situation. George moving up. He's going to put down that initial smoke. Falling back to window here. Let's see what George has in store. Not quite sure if he knows that Amen is sandwich. He knows he's going to have to check A ramp slash sandwich area. Excuse me, Amen is not sandwich. He's on far corner default boxes by ramp. George moving up. Can he get Ajax here on the hard left? Not quite. Extremely close. GGPR is still up three to two. Lowrider taking a few more shots through this smoke. This is a save, right? This is a full save for GGPR. Let's see if they can make something happen with these USPs. Lowrider with a few more shots towards Amen. Amen took a little bit of damage there, not quite enough for a kill. It looks like Revenant is going to take A without too much issue there. GGPR looks like this is going to be a full or as full as they can buy. They do not have head armor. George is opting for the AUG over the M4 this round. Let's see how this plays out for GGPR. I do want to note again, there is no head armor on GGPR members at the moment and also no defusal kit. So this is going to have to come down to some... Some pure, raw, out-aiming this round, if you will. Kind of an odd term, but yeah, there's, it's going to have to be a lot of rifle action here. Lowrider 
Opening up with that M4 kill, that's exactly what they needed. George, nice little AUG pick there. I love seeing the AUG in use. I know some people aren't a huge fan of the 5.5.2 or the AUG, but hey, come on. I have a little fun. Let's see if George can get a second here. He does hear Spoys coming up. Catwalk here. Oh, George dodging the flashbang, almost getting a second. That headshot on Spoys was beautiful, but... Fortunately, he has Exotic there to back him up. GGPR going up 4-3 to three here on Revenant Esports. DE Mirage. This looks like it is indeed the final game of the regular season or second to last game of the regular season. I'll have to double check if there's a makeup match that needs to be played or not. A lot of utility being exchanged at mid here. Let's see, Creed. Throwing some suppressive fire into that smoke at mid, but Revenant moving up Catwalk. This is gonna be a B take. George getting that initial defensive M4 headshot. He's gonna need a big play from, from Lowrider or Civ, but Lowrider already went down and it looks like Siv does get a huge double kill there! Headshot and a second kill through the smoke! Siv getting a third headshot and a fourth! He takes down Florgy and he's gonna get the defuse. I'm standing up for my computer. I'm not wearing wireless headphones, so I almost just yanked out the whole wire here, but I'm gonna go ahead and sit back down. I'm gonna go ahead and sit back down. We are officially seated again. We will be seeing that one on the old twitter.com tomorrow. Oh boy. I think I'll just let this whole round play out in silence after that. I, does anyone even want to hear me after that? Jeez, need to calm down, Ham. Creed, nice initial pick there onto A, man. Can he get a second onto Sandwich Area? Exotic able to take down Notorious. Vic, nice. Second kill onto Spoice. George taking out Ajax. Florgy, almost maybe lining up a collateral there, but Exotic takes him out. GGPR going up six to three. GGPR sending two members Palace this round, and it is going to pay off. Creed and Exotic both landing early headshots there. Ajax and Florgy going down. Another strong round here from GGPR. Revenant is moving up connector there. I'm not sure if GGPR realizes just how close Spoice is. Exotic holding that direct angle. Exotic should be able to land that. He does. Not much Amen and Notorious are going to be able to do here unless Notorious is able to catch Exotic off guard here. Exotic turning his back. He Exotic might go down here. He's in a direct pickle. But I don't think the other member of Revenant realized that Exotic was peeking from behind. He was in Sandwich. Or maybe Exotic's body was just far enough over that even when that terrorist in Sandwich was looking up, he couldn't quite see him. But I'm not sure. It looked like Exotic would have been noticeable from Sandwich there. We're, we're going to have to play that back. Uh, play that back a little later when we have a look at the highlights. 
Low rider, nice op pick onto Ajax there. George laying down some some more utility. Low rider able to get a second kill after both Exotic and George laid down some really nice utility at mid. Florgi still caught out there in mid. I think Lowrider may have just taken a shot at him, but he's gonna have to be real careful. Okay, fortunately, George backing up Lowrider there, so he doesn't have to worry too much. Amen, though. Nice little Tech 9 headshot onto Vic. He is gonna go down to 19, and George is gonna smell him through the wall there, I believe. That was quite a spam shot. And it looks like. Revenant is taking a tactical timeout here. They're f oh, excuse me. I maybe that was just a, a very quick technical timeout. It actually got unpaused just a few seconds later there. So we are officially live again. GGPR up eight to three. They started out on counter terrorist here after taking the initial knife round. Spoice and Amen already about to peak. Spoice is out. George taking him down though. Vic backing him up with that headshot onto Amen. There's not going to be a whole lot Revenant can do here. I know I just said this about their their other B take, but well, Florgi does get that pick onto Creed there, so maybe they can kind of shuffle around here at middle, but. They're really going to have to catch Lowrider off guard. He's still got this op in his hands, and with him playing these long, safe distances, it's going to... Yep, there's a pick from Lowrider right there. Almost a second. Did he hit that spin? No, not quite. It looks like Notorious still has 79 HP, so it looks like that op shot did not quite land through that spam. Even though it looked like it was pretty close to on him. Let's see if that 1D glands... Eagle headshots don't quite land through the smoke, but we did see that crazy uh, Deagle headshot at mid through the smoke from Lowrider earlier, so I wasn't going to doubt him that there was going to be another one right there or two. Since it looked like Revenant, they were actually both in connector there, but now Ajax is actually in a site. Notorious moving up towards stairs slash sandwich. Notorious is probably going to get the C4 down here. Since his teammate is in CT spawn, Exotic's going to need to peek. Not quite in time to stop the C4, but not going to matter too much. Revenant might get that plus 300 from the C4. Oh, actually, Ajax still in this. Excuse me. Let me not jump to any conclusions here. Exotic able to clean him up, though. GGPR was already sticking the C4 there. No fake. GPR up 9-3, to three, looking nice and healthy here on D Mirage. Everyone on GGPR have been eating their veggies this week, listening to our coach Ninja and scrimming and practicing every night. Yeah, I'm not sure who's been preparing the vegetables. I don't know if everyone prepares their own vegetables or if King Killer just kind of hooks everybody up. I know we're on a, a pretty good regimen at the moment. Creed with this AUG and connector. And they're going to have to be, GGPR, excuse me, is going to have to be real careful about this window push. Creed, I don't, uh, I don't think he realizes just how close Ajax is. He has somewhat of an intuition about it. And he is going to hold this firm close window angle he should be able to get that kill onto ajax he does and revenant is gonna go for the full b take george has a man behind him unfortunately and amen is still back there at bench from where he killed george he was able to sneak back there from balcony to van unfortunately and it looks like lowrider should Probably, I don't want to jump the gun here, but it, uh, it looked like he was going to be able to get either Spoice 
or amen there, but not quite. Exotic's put in a rough situation here. He does take out Spoys, but amen still at bench area there to trade him. So not too much Exotic could do after getting peaked from bench there, but it was, it was a valiant effort there. GPR still up nine to four. Let's see what Revenant's got in store here. Once they find out Lowrider has an op again at middle, I don't think they're going to be one of working middle too much. I don't actually it looks like they're going to fall back from middle regardless because of all those HE grenades and smokes supplied by GGPR there. Well, that was a strange smoke grenade that just hit Creed in the head for one damage and two armor damage. That was an extremely strange um, interaction. George with a nice AUG headshot there, though. Love to see it. The AUG Stimphalion. George looking for a second, but Revenant already in mid, moving towards A here. Ooh, Notorious is going to get that op down out of the hands of Lowrider, and that could change the entire dynamics of this round. It already has. George still has 100 HP, though. Creed's still at 99. This could be a clean retake from GGPR if they're able to clean up either Notorious or Amen before moving on to Florgy here. Ideally getting Notorious down since he has that op, but he only has 37 HP. They're going to have to check Connector here. That might be up to George to get that close range op kill, but unfortunately Notorious was ready. And Florgy cleaning it up with that final headshot onto Creed. So Revenant bringing this within four rounds. GGPR sitting at a 9-5 lead at the moment as we go into the 15th round. And the final round of the first half here. Once again, this is Hamtaro from GGPR coming to you guys live here. Not too live. We are on a somewhat of a delay, but we're here. We're as live as we can be. And here's Lowrider potentially looking for that mid boost again, but that smoke is going to pop off, so he's going to move just a, a bit back towards connector there. But Revenant is still moving on connector themselves so it looks like we're gonna have a bit of a showdown here between creed and three members of revenant after they peak here this is gonna be a big play not sure on whose behalf that will be or on whose team that will be but something's about to happen here is the first trade creed and lowrider exotic getting a third Nice chemistry from GGPR there, getting the first three members of Revenant down. They did lose two to trades there, but they do have a one-man advantage. Spoice is down to 60 HP. GGPR does not have head armor this round. The three remaining members. Vic, nice. Deeg spam onto Spoice there. He's not here to play games, ladies and gentlemen. And then Vic backing it up with that Molotov, even though he was already on the c4 he's like yep you know what i'll actually take that frag as well even though i'm already on the c4 and i'm not even looking at the enemy player i'll, I'll go ahead and take that kill thank you so here we are both teams just uh refilling their brita water filters and Getting a nice drink before second half goes live. Maybe running and or sprinting to the restroom. I will not be. I'm not moving. I, have n I, I haven't moved since I stood up 
after that Vic 4K. I I'm not going to stand up again the whole night. I'm just going to be sitting here even after this match ends, just trying to digest that play. Let me also reiterate that a 4K like that under this type of scenario, a high pressure advanced match with potential playoff and MDL implications in the mix, certainly a lot more difficult to get a 4K uh, versus Revenant late in the advanced season than getting a 4K in a random pug. So that's uh, definitely play of the game thus far. Let me also point out that Revenant is also sitting at 11 and four as good game PR is as well at the moment. Identical records on both of these teams. So the victor of this looking to put aside any comparisons that were being made. Although this match could still go either way, I'm not necessarily predicting a victory for GGPR quite yet. This is going to be a bit of an intense pistol round because I know Revenant certainly does not want to give up this pistol easily. They're going to make quite a battle of this, even if it's a retake. And GGPR is making the smart decision going A. Ajax did have that nice shot there onto Vic, but this is a very smart play by GGPR. I'm not sure if they could read that Revenant was kind of in a more of a mid slash B setup, but Revenant with a... quite a retake there. Amen and Notorious coming up with some Big USP headshots through that window rotate. So Revenant definitely earning this second pistol round as they take the dub there on the first round of the second half. Yes, Simplicity, this is this is indeed your your brethren. Hamtaro here, checking in live. GGPR still up 10 to six here. And by live, I mean uh, on the appropriate league designated delays, of course. Here's Florgy and Notorious, both set up on this Somewhat of a crossfire here, horizontal crossfire and connector. Exotic, nice pick. I'm not sure if GGPR is going to be expecting a second one in connector, and they weren't quite expecting Florgy to still be in there. It's actually very unusual for CTs to put two players in connector. Unusual in both pugs and matches, I, I would say. So I would, you know, it's pretty smart play from Revenant there. Don't know if they'll be able to pull that off again in the upcoming rounds. I think GGPR will have their eye out for a potential second member in connector. This GGPR did pick that first member in connector, but things went a little bit south after that. Little we'll trade there between Exotic and Spoice and one other member of GGPR. So it's going to be up to Vic here, almost getting Spoice with that Deeg. He was almost able to get that kill and then fall back behind the pillar there. He would have been in a 1v1. Real close there. Nice try from Vic. Just 
not quite enough firepower available to overtake those two M4s. like Revenant and a bit more traditional setup than last round. A man looking a little bit aggressive here though with this MP9 balcony push. I wouldn't say it's a push. He's just holding back here near, near a left wall planter. So GGPR looking to take A here with these five Desert Eagles. This is going to be wild. Oh, and Ajax coming up with a big 3K there. Got to give him credit. Notorious getting a fourth. Creed getting a nice 2K pair of Deeg headshots there. Let's see if... Oh, I was going to say maybe let's see if Creed can go for the ace there, but... Florgy was too close already on the, the flank from A ramp. So with this round, Revenant will be bringing it within two rounds. GGPR will be up 10 to 8 after this diffuse. Some troll action uh, going on there with the diffuse. So not sure if there's uh, some history between uh, our squad and Revenant. Could be. Ajax with a nice play there. GGPR might still be able to take A here, but they're going to have to make quite a play on the CT spawn stairs after the smoke dissipates. Lowrider watching the flank here. There's no one palace, so that angle he's holding is safe. Amen. And Ajax, though, already nearly on the C4, and they both had smoke grenades. Amen is sticking it. One second left, and it looks like Lowrider forced to save his op there. A little bit too wild to have gone for the 1v3. GGPR still up by a single round here, 10 to 9, but GGPR is going to have to kick it in into high gear here to keep the momentum from shifting too much. Lowrider maintaining that op as we mentioned, the other four members of GGPR with uh, AK-47s and a decent amount of utility. Vic and Lowrider do have full utility it appears. Five sets of head armor on GGPR. Notorious on CT actually does not have head armor, even though he had the funds for it. May have been an oversight on his part there. It's a real quiet round here. I don't want to raise my voice too loud. I don't want either team to hear my words coming down from the skybox on DE Mirage. They might just see my face pop up in the clouds here. Oh, Lowrider lost a kneecap to that op shot from CT spawn and Creed going down to Ajax under balcony. Exotic, nice trade. Notorious able to take out Lowrider with that second op shot. Lowrider exchanges though. With a nicely placed Molotov post-mortem. 
And it's all up to Vic, not quite able to take out Amen. Nice 2K there at the end of the round from Amen with those M4 headshots. And we are officially tied up here 10 to 10, ladies and gentlemen. And this is where things start to get almost too spicy. Almost too spicy. Or should I say almost too spicy? A nod to Spoice from Revenant. Notorious sitting on this op still. Vic moving up towards a balcony. He's going to have to deal with Florgy. I think he may have heard those strafing footsteps, but I'm not entirely sure. I think Florgy may have been walking for all of those, but I thought he let go of his walk button for maybe just a second. And Spoice... GGPR has got to do whatever they can to make sure this doesn't get too spicy at Catwalk here. Because if Spoice is able to line up a collateral here on this late B take, this is not going to be good for GGPR. Vic, though, without it. Oh, Vic with a nice 2K. And Lowrider able to get Spoice while he was distracted. So all spiciness for that round, fortunately, was detained. So GGPR going up by a single round again, 11 to 10. Lowrider maintaining that op. Creed and Vic on the AKs. George. Able to save that M4 at the end of the round. Exotic on the Galil. All 10 players in the server still at 100 HP in full armor. Revenant does not, excuse me, Revenant does not have armor, but they are still sitting at high HP. Florgy actually just went down to 86 as I was at the end of saying that. Notorious must have got clipped by um, just barely a Molotov or a distant HE because he went down to 98 actually. Amen, with a nice mag kill there onto George. Let's see how GGPR responds. Exotic with a huge Galil headshot there. GGPR looking to take A. This is a huge, huge round to secure the momentum for themselves. And it looks like they are going to be able to take sides. C4 is down. They're going to have to get Spoice near CT spawn stairs. They don't want to let him get... A sneaky pick with that AK there. Spoice does get one pick, though, on the lowrider. Amen. Coming up near connector stairs. Let's see if he's able to get Vic and Balcony. Vic's in a really good position. He lands that headshot onto Amen. Vic with that nice pre-fire. Let's see if he gets Spoice. Spoice is not on the C4 yet. And Vic closing it out for the boys. Taking out Spoice. And bringing GGPR up by two rounds, going up 12 to 10. Woo! There's an early Molotov here on a ramp. The 
Molotov is dissipated. A couple more utility nades going out here from Revenant, including that smoke somewhat near Sandwich there. And this is going to be an A take from GGPR. Let's see if they can replicate last round. Creed going for the C4 plant. He's in the smoke. No fear. The C4 is planted. Exotics getting headshots everywhere through smoke grenades as if it's 1999 CS 1.3. Vic still in sandwich here. No member of GGPR down yet. Three members of Revenant still alive. Looks like they are going to save here. Notorious holding on to that AWP. And GGPR will be going up 13 to 10 after the C4 explodes. Notorious holding on to that Arctic Warfare Magnum, looking to put Revenant back in the mix here late in the second half. They've slid the past three rounds. Notorious! He's potentially doing it. Taking out George there. Can he get a second? He's falling back near Catwalk here to see if he can fulfill his multi-kill prophecy, but GGPR already moving up on their own through connector, so Notorious may be gonna go for a spam shot here, undecided. Spoys with a nice shot onto Exotic, and Ajax backing him up with that P250 kill onto Vic. Creed's gonna have to go insane here. He's already right in front of Spoys! He gets floor E somehow on a ramp as he turns around and he gets spoils. Creed, he could go all the way. There are two members left of Revenant. One on a ramp, one near connector. Creed moving up towards a ramp. He's got 79 HP. That's enough to do it. I thought he was lower, but he's not. He's going for a man. A man is down. 1v1 situation. 25 HP, but Notorious taking out Creed. What a valiant effort. From Creed there, almost coming up with a huge 1v3. Not quite able to pull it off, but GGPR is still in the lead here, 13 to 11. GGPR going for a full B take here, but Amen throwing down that early Molotov, so they're going to have to get their fire suits on if they want to run through that. They're going to wait for it to dissipate. It looks like it's already dissipated. Lowrider moving up with his scoped Arctic Warfare Magnum, looking through the smoke, not quite seeing any enemies yet. Amen is back by bench. Nice utility from GGPR. They're moving out. But there's friction! I repeat, there is friction! RV Notorious taking out three members of GGPR as they come out balcony there. Florgy with the final kill to bring Revenant within a single round. A ramp is molotoved off. Florgy holding a ramp in Palace, but GGPR already making their move towards underpass. Looks like they may do some kind of late round split. Lowrider 
making sure no one's too far up on catwalk here. He does not have armor. He's going to move up, looking for that one dig. He's got some protection from that smoke and connector. Not anymore, though. He's fallen back a little bit. Spoice playing extremely passively, holding far CT spawn window angle slash rotate. Let's see how GGPR responds to the passive setup of Revenant here. Exotic already moving up into window. Exotic's going to have to go big here, but unfortunately going down to Spoys. Notorious taking out Vic. Lowrider looking for a Deagle headshot. Can he get one? He gets a kill. It's not a headshot. Looking for a second, but amen. Able to take him out with the AK headshot there. So we're all tied up 13 to 13. GGPR on an early 4-1 split here, early in the round. They're looking for a mid-pick here. They'd love to get an early pick here, I'm sure, so that they don't have so much pressure going into these delayed bomb plants. Not that there's anything wrong with some of the delayed rushes they've used. It's just Revenant is really in touch with their defensive chemistry the past few rounds there. They're definitely not going to let anything mediocre slide. So GGPR is going to have to go big here. It's going to have to be all headshots. A lot of utility, a lot of headshots. Here's Exotic, He's looking for that headshot onto Florgy, not quite able to get it yet. GGPR is going for the A take, A man is down underneath balcony, there's another man in the site, Creed taking out Ajax, GGPR, they need to get this C4 down and look at Connector at the same time, Spoice able to take out Exotic there, C4 is down, GGPR at the one man, advantage, Florgy sitting at 35 HP, Spoice at 94, Creed sitting at 56 HP, Vic at 78, George at 77, this is a 4v3 situation, GGPR, one man advantage, the time is ticking, and it looks like Revenant is indeed going to save this round which was maybe a little bit surprising, but I think since Florgy was already at 35 HP, they didn't want to risk going into such a bold 3v4 retake there. So GGPR is going to go up 14-13 after this C4 explosion here. See if Revenant catches on to this GGPR member at underpass. Notorious already going down to 67 HP there from that suppressive AK fire on behalf of Lowrider. Lowrider's going to have to be careful, though, to not get picked by Notorious early in the round here. Still a minute 22 left on the clock. Let's see how this one plays out. It's a huge round here. This could be match point after this round of GPR able to secure this.
All 10 players still alive. Florgy down to 55. Notorious down to 67. Exotic going down to that op. Notorious with a nice shot there. This is going to be a somewhat difficult A take for GGPR. But let's see if Lowrider can actually get somewhat of a flank kill here. Actually, he's deciding to go up connector. Smart move. He's already got teammates in a sight. Nice shots from Vic and Creed. Two big AK headshots there. Another huge AK headshot from Vic. Lowrider smelling death. He's looking for that last member of Revenant. Amen. Holding this firm, close... 90 degree angle. Lowrider knows he's there now, though, after the peak. Lowrider just playing a little bit of strafe action with him right now. Unfortunately, Lowrider getting caught by Amon's AK headshot there, but Vic getting the trade. And GGPR does go into a match point situation. 15 to 13 versus Revenant Esports here on DE Mirage. Final week of the regular season. This is Hamtaro from GGPR coming to you live on behalf of all of GGPR Esports. We hope you're enjoying the cast. Minute 45 left on the clock here. Florgy going down to 75. He's still got that op in hand. He's looking for that mid pick, but he may have to fall back bit more if GGPR sends more than one member mid, which they may not. I mean, it could be a 3-2 split B mid, but it looks like this might actually be majority B. Wait, no, they've got two men going up. Catwalk Exotic could be going down here. He did go down to 18 HP. He's going to barely sneak out of that. He's going to throw down a little bit of utility so that he can slide away into B side, and he does land that headshot onto Spoice. Exotic knows there could be another member of Revenant close. He heard that op shot. George taking out Florgy there. So one op on Revenant is down, but Notorious is still up. 3v2 situation. One man advantage for GGPR. 100 HP on Ajax and Notorious of Revenant. This is for all the marbles right here. This 2v3 retake from Revenant. Can they do it? Lowrider stopping Notorious in his tracks with that op and Exotic. Landing that headshot with the AK-47 onto Ajax. And that is checkmate, ladies and gentlemen. GGPR winning 16 to 13, going up 12 to 5 on the season. And we will be seeing you all in playoffs very soon. Good game.